Do you just have unprotected sexual intercourse and you are worried and concerned about pregnancy or getting sexually transmitted infections? If the answer is yes, then this video is definitely for you. So stick around, watch to the end as you begin in one or two things from this video. So hello guys, what's up and welcome back once again to my channel. This is Everything Health with Nosdera. In this channel, we get to discuss different topics related to health. If you're seeing this face for the first time, I'm Nos Chidera Cynthia. I'm a registered nurse registered midwife registered public health nurse and a bachelor of nursing science degree holder currently practicing here in nigeria if you're interested in this topic keep watching So here are the things you need to do if you just had unprotected sexual intercourse. First of all, you need to urinate after sex. Sex can increase your risk of developing urinary tract infections. And this is why I always advise in my videos to get up from the bed, go into the bathroom and urinate immediately after sex this is because the bacteria naturally found on the skin can make its way into the urethra which is the pee hole where your urine comes out from so urinating shortly after sex will help flush out these types of bacteria from your system and lower your risk of developing urinary tract infection also keep in mind that you going to the bathroom to urinate shortly after sex will not flush out the sperm and prevent you from getting pregnant so here are some common symptoms of urinary tract infection if you notice any of these symptoms after unprotected sexual intercourse then make your way to any health facility around you and get treated the symptoms include pain or burning while urinating that is pain or burning sensation while urinating the second one is frequent urination also feeling the need to urinate even when your bladder is empty bloody urine then pressure or cramping around the groin or the lower abdomen so if you notice any of these symptoms you get yourself treated with antibiotics most of these urinary tract infections begins to clear up within few days after starting treatment so the second thing you need to do after having unprotected sexual intercourse is to explore emergency contraceptives that is emergency contraceptive pills also called morning after pills or plan b these drugs are best taken within 72 hours after you had the unprotected sexual intercourse that is three days normally it's three to five days but three days is okay the longer you wait the less effective they might be so this morning after pill should be taken in a case of emergency it should not be used as routine bed control for you you should only use it in a case of emergency like experiencing bed control failure during sex that is condom breakage or you forgot to take your bed control pill or you missed a dose of your bed control shots also it can be used in a case of sexual assault that is rape now I'm going to explain why you shouldn't take this drug as your bed control pill. You should only use it as an emergency, just like the name implies, emergency contraceptive. So there are different brand names for this morning after pills. The progesterone only morning after pill is called levonorgestrel. This type of medication is available over the counter. Then you also have the ulipristal, that is Ella, which is only available by prescription. Then you have other options for emergency contraceptives apart from pills. We have the IUD. IUDs, intrauterine device. There are two types of IUDs, the copper IUD and levonorgestrel IUD. It is inserted into your uterus and it is most effective when you insert it within five days after you had this unprotected sexual intercourse. And it can only be inserted by a healthcare provider. You can't do it yourself. You need to go to the hospital and get it done by a healthcare provider. This morning after pill is not used to terminate pregnancy rather it is used to prevent pregnancy so it is going to be more effective if you take it as soon as possible after unprotected sexual intercourse the longer you wait before you take these emergency contraceptives the less effective they are going to be in fact you do not need to wait till the next day before taking these emergency pills despite the name morning after pill you do not need to wait 
till the next morning if you can get it right away the better for you this morning after peel let's take for instance postino 2 which is more popular here contains levonorgestrel which is a hormone typically found in most contraceptives it helps prevent pregnancy by preventing ovulation it prevents ovulation and also prevents fertilization so here is why i said you should not use this drug as your routine contraceptive it should only be used in a case of emergency because the hormones found in these routine contraceptives are added in higher quantity in these morning after pills so it is not safe for you to be taking these emergency pills as your routine contraceptive pills the next thing to do after you just had unprotected sexual intercourse is to get tested and treated for stis that is sexually transmitted infections sexually transmitted infections are infections that pass from one individual to another during sexual intercourse the infections can be caused by bacteria virus or parasites so it is a good idea for you and your partner to get tested two weeks after having unprotected sexual intercourse especially if you're not in an exclusive relationship also it is important to keep in mind that some of these stis can take time before it becomes active in your body so testing too soon can give you inaccurate results if you know your partner has tested positive for gonorrhea or chlamydia then you need to get treated for exposure right away now let's talk about hiv human immunodeficiency virus which is also a type of sti if you are not sure of your partner's status you are not sure of your partner HIV status and you just had unprotected sexual intercourse with this person then you need to head straight to the hospital or a health care facility around you public health center just meet them and explain to them what you want and you'll be started on PEP immediately PEP is post exposure prophylaxis which is given to people who are at risk of contacting HIV especially in cases of sexual assault or rape this is simply taking HIV medicines for a period of 28 days and you should start taking it within 72 hours after you had this unprotected sexual intercourse for it to work for you that is either you start taking it immediately after you had unprotected sexual intercourse or within a period of three days after you had this unprotected sexual intercourse and you take the drugs for 28 days so whether you have been exposed to hiv whether you had this unprotected sex with a person who is a hiv carrier you're not going to get hiv after taking the drugs now here are the guidelines for testing to get a more accurate result for hiv you should get tested within 23 to 90 days after exposure but if you're on your pep if you take your pep consistently the way you're supposed to take it for that period of 28 days your risk of getting hiv is already reduced to almost zero for chlamydia get tested after five days to two weeks same as gonorrhea get tested after five days two weeks for syphilis get tested after two to three weeks for a more accurate result then if you're experiencing symptoms like itching burning or pain get tested right away the next step we are going to discuss is to prepare for next time if you do not want to get pregnant or you want to prevent sexually transmitted infection then you need to plan yourself before engaging in unprotected sexual intercourse if you have no intentions of getting pregnant you need to be able to calculate your ovulation day know your safe days and your fertile days when you're on your fertile days avoid having unprotected sex because you're at risk of getting pregnant you need to know these things i have a lot of videos like this in my channel explaining how to calculate your ovulation day how to calculate your safe days so you can check it out learn how to calculate your safe days and avoid having unprotected sexual intercourse within your fertile Days. then to avoid sexually transmitted infections you need to use protection during sex condoms there are the male condoms the female condoms you can use any of them to avoid sexually transmitted infections also if you're sexually active but you have no intentions of getting pregnant you can explore the different birth control methods and stop relying on emergency contraceptive pills all the time we have the hormonal birth control the non-hormonal you can explore any of them just go to the hospital be the healthcare provider and they will guide you through the different methods and which one will suit you 
better although my advice on this is if you do not have kids now but you have intentions of having children later on then it might benefit you more to go for the non-hormonal methods instead of the hormonal methods i explained this in details in one of the videos i made in my channel and i'm going to leave a link to that video somewhere above so you can go through it to understand why i made this statement now it is also important to screen for stis regularly it is important to get tested for sti at least once per year especially if you have multiple partners or you switch partners and it is important to discuss your results with your partner so you both can receive treatment as needed also take preventive measures there are vaccines and medications that can help prevent the spread of certain stis vaccines are available for hpv and hepatitis they are strongly recommended for all college aged adults now i'm going to end this video with this in case of rape or sexual assault this is what to do first you need to head straight to the hospital there you'll be given emergency contraceptive pills to prevent pregnancy from occurring out of this traumatic experience secondly you're going to be given the pep drug to prevent you from getting hiv if you have been exposed when i say pep i mean the post exposure prophylaxis these two things are very important if you have been sexually assaulted so what you have to do is to go straight to the hospital get this done and then you head to the police station and file a police report sti screening will also be done for you in the hospital so with this we've come to the end of today's video if you enjoyed watching please do well to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions and i'll be there to respond turn on your notification bell because i have more informative and educative videos coming your way on this channel this is it for now stay tuned and see you in my next one bye